be stopped, but they wouldn't dare. I've seen men punished for far less. If the Tories think that'll quiet the people, they've another. What happens now? We wait for the signal. What signal? This meeting can do nothing further to save the country. That one. Evening, gentlemen. Shall we be off? No. What's the matter? I have spent today drawn from one bit of madness to another with nothing to show for it. Before I go any further, I would like to know exactly what it is you intend. Of course. First, we make our way to Nathaniel Bradley's house to fetch the rest of our little group. Then it's on to Griffin's Wharf, where we board the ships and dump the tea. Simple as that. Simple seems a bit charitable. Cheer up, Connor. For tonight, we are all victors. The Sons of Liberty get to send a message to England, and you rob William Johnson of his financing. Your village will be saved. I've an idea. Why don't you lead the way? That should keep us out of any further trouble. Am I right? Damn it, more guards. We need to turn the crowd's anger to our advantage. Stay the world, Connor, and I will make it so. We need to keep those bastards at bay while the tea is being dumped. Let me help. I'm yours to command.
We've done it! Gunner! We saved the last one for you. We get out of here, huh? It is done. Johnson is dead? No. He retreated when we destroyed the team. Only to hatch some new scheme, I'm sure. You should have killed him. There was no need. <sighs> Time will tell if you speak the truth. Radun Hagedum! Radun Hagedum! Ganon Dokon. Why are you here? Has something happened? William Johnson has returned with all the money required to buy our land. He meets with the elders as we speak. I have begged him to resist, but I fear he shall have his way unless you intervene. How is this possible? We destroyed the tea. The Templars are nothing if not resourceful. You should have heeded my warning. Please, you have to stop him. Of course. Can you tell me where they are meeting?
manipulate you. Worse yet, take the land by force. Peace. Peace. Have I not always been an advocate? Have I not always sought to protect you from harm? If you wish to protect us, then give us arms, muskets and horses that we might defend ourselves. War is not the answer. We remember, Stanwix. We remember you moved the borders. Even today your men dig up the land, showing no regard for those who live upon it. Your words are honeyed, but false. We are not here to negotiate, nor to sell. We are here to tell you and yours to leave these lands. So be it. I offered you an olive branch, and you knocked it from my hand. Perhaps you'll respond better to the sword. Are you threatening us? Yes. Ensured an end to your schemes. You sought to claim these lands for the Templars. Aye, that we might protect them. Do you think that good King George lies awake at night, hoping that no harm comes to his native subjects? Are that the people of the city care one whit about them? Oh, sure. The colonists are happy to trade when they need food or shelter, or a bit of extra padding for their armies. But when the walls of the city constrict, when there's crops that need soil, when there's... when there's no more enemy to fight, we'll see how kind the people are then. The colonists have no quarrel with the Iroquois. Not yet. But they will. This is the way of the world. In time, they'll turn. I... I could have stopped it. I could have saved you all. You speak of salvation, but you were killing them. Aye, because they would not listen. And so, it seems, neither will you. I was <laughs> not a good person, but I was not a good person. William Johnson is dead, and with him, the Templar plot to steal the land of my people. But in ending this threat, I have revealed another. On his body was a letter addressed to John Pitcairn containing orders to root out and destroy Patriot weapons and supplies. Should he succeed in this, the colonists will be unable to maintain their resistance, and the Templars will surely take control. So long as Pitcairn lives, the danger remains. I need to find him. He needs to die. I thought it might bring clarity or instill a sense of accomplishment, but all I feel is regret. Hold fast to that. Such sacrifices must never come lightly. I had to do it. Not only for my people, but for all the others Johnson would have harmed. It's a start. 
But to truly be free of Templar influence, all of them must be dealt with in turn. Even your father... I know. You speak the words, but do you believe them? Seems we've company. What is it? A request for aid from Paul Revere. Seems the Redcoats are up to something in Boston. Guess you made an impression on the Sons of Liberty. They mistake me for one of their own. Please tell Mr. Revere he has my sympathies, but I cannot help at present. You might wish to reconsider. John Pitcairn is mentioned by name. Where am I to go? Mr. Revere's house in Boston. If you'd like, I can... Ah, Connor! What a relief! You came! <laughs> Allow me to... To introduce you to William Dawes and Robert Newman. Your letter said John Pitcairn was here. Aye. He's ready an assault on Lexington, where Adams and Hancock have taken shelter. After that, he will march on Concord, hoping to destroy our weapons and supplies. You must help us. Only tell me where to find him, and I will put a stop to this. He has dozens, if not hundreds, of soldiers at his command. You cannot hope to match him by yourself. But fear not, for you will not have to. We have an entire army of our own, merely awaiting the order to take up arms. Then you must call upon them. Indeed. You and I will cross the Charles River and rouse the boys. William, I need you to take the overland route and do the same. Robert, I need you up in Christchurch. Like the signal, two lanterns, our enemy comes by sea. No time for dawdling, my friend. We have lives to save. Come on. only left a single horse. We'll have to ride together. Ah! You take the reins, I'll navigate. Quickly, Connor, get on the horse! I'll guide you towards those we need to alert. Follow my directions, and we'll be done in no time. This way, Connor! Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. Keep going! Redcoats. What are they doing here? They must be scouts. Be careful, Connor. We mustn't let them warn the others. I believe we are on course. Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. Dismount for this. Be quicker and quieter.
This is it. You have got the right place. Let everyone know that the regulars marched for Lexington and Concord. The British are coming! Back in the saddle, my friend. We have more people to warn. Yes! This is it! This is the way! Yes! This is exactly where we need to be! To the left, Connor! Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. Did you hear that? Could be Redcoat. Where are we? This is all wrong. Let us continue the search on foot. This is it! You have got the right place! Spread the word. The regulars are coming out. At once! Keep going! Keep going! Go right, Connor! Oh. Here we are. Best to continue on foot. This is it! You have got the right place! The regulars are coming. Here! We're here! Get them! Fast find a way to get rid of them, Connor! Gotta shake those red coats. We've gotta shake those red coats. That was much too close for comfort. Let us take care to avoid any further surprises. We've gotta shake those red coats. We need to lose them. That was much too close for comfort. Let us take care to avoid any further surprises. I believe we are on course. To the left, Connor! Excellent! We are right on course! To the right, Connor! To the right! We 
should dismount for this. Be quicker and quieter. This is it! You have got the right place! Where the devil is he? Are you sure we are in the right place? Oh, sure, I'm sure. Prescott? Evening, gents. Listen, the regulars are out. You need to rally your men. And, uh... Put on some trousers. At once! Welcome to Lexington, Connor. Now let's find Hancock and Adams. Hmm. No sign of Dawes. I hope he's all right. Redcoats are coming. Aye, so Williams told us. Let them conduct their little search. They'll find nothing. You don't understand. Pitcairn intends to kill you. I'm afraid it's true. I suppose we have no choice then but to go. What of you three? Dawes and I will continue on to Concord. Connor, it's best you stay here and help our man John Parker hold the town. It'll give us time to spread the word. Thank <laughs> you. 
Court lads. Blood's been spilled in Lexington, and there's more to come. The regulars are on the march. You don't say. And why do you think I'm men up here? Go home, or you get yourself killed. I've enough to worry about without some green boy looking to play at hero. I can vouch for him. John Parker as well. Where's Revere? Captured. What? Fear not. That man's no stranger to sticky situations. He'll be fine. I'm sure of it. <clears throat> Your ladies finished gossiping? Parker seems to believe you're not completely useless, so... I suppose there's a thing or two you might be able to help with. When the fighting starts, we'll need to hold those positions there. They're critical to the defense of Concord. Good boys. Not used to soldier, and they need some with the experience to direct them. That's something you can do. You'd best be telling the truth. You have my word. Then I suppose all that's left to do is wait. Ensure my men hold those positions. If the Red Devils break through, we're finished. What would you have me do? Listen carefully. The Redcoats will form firing lines. Order the men to shoot just before the line is ready. Too soon and they'll miss their targets. Too late. And the enemy will open fire first. Understood. And if any of those bastards make it through, engage them. You must keep my men alive. yourselves. Ready? 
Hold fire! Shoot! Wait for the sick fire! Wait for my signal. Fire now! Wait for my signal. Open fire. Make ready! Shoot! Prepare yourselves. Wait for my sick fire! Prepare yourselves. Make ready! Shoot! Wait for my signal. Wait for my sick. Open fire. Make ready! Wait for the signal. Shoot! It takes a true monster to do something like this. At least they're gone. I should have struck when I had the chance. Do you know where Pitcairn could have gone? Back into the withered bosom of the British, no doubt. So that he may regroup and plan his next atrocity. I need to find him. Every day I wait, more will suffer. Chin up, friend. Many who should have died today now live because of you. And, and what of them? We do the best we can with what we've got. It is not enough. Hmm. It never is. For the support of the glorious cause. I beg they will accept my most cordial thanks for this distinguished testimony of their approbation. But lest some unlucky event should happen, unfavorable to my reputation, I beg it may be remembered by every gentleman in the room that I, this day, declare with utmost sincerity, I do not think myself equal to the command I am honored with. Truly, there As is no pay, man better sir, suited to the task. Leave to assure really? The Congress that I can no think of several. Consideration could have Charles me Lee. To have accepted this arduous employment at the do I know you? I would not expect happiness. you to remember. <laughs> I do not Connor, wish to make any profit I want you to from meet. Me. I will keep an exact account of my expenses. I'm sorry to pull you away Those, like that, I doubt not they the will last discharge, thing we need is that the two of you coming to blows. Connor... Allow me to introduce you to our newly appointed Commander-in-Chief, George Washington. Ah, so you're the one who saved Sam and John at Lexington. It was the Patriots who did that. I merely lent support. <laughs> as humble as he is brave, we could use more men like you. I'm sorry, but if you'll excuse me, I should attend to Charles over there. He looks none too happy about being passed over for command. It was good to meet you, Connor. Tell me you have news of Pitcairn. I'm told he's taken shelter in Boston, where he's guarded by a thousand redcoats. The only way you're gonna get at him is if we draw him out. 
And lucky for you, we're launching an offensive against the city in order to do just that. Israel Putnam has been given command of our forces. Present this to him and he'll provide whatever aid you require. You'll find him at the encampment on Bunker Hill. You have my thanks. No need. It's the least I could do. Pitcairn's a dangerous man. The sooner we're rid of him, the better. I would say the same of Charles Lee. Now that's an altogether different beast. Let us leave it for another day. Best you head to Boston, Connor. I'm feeling a little bit delicate today, but tomorrow, yeah, then I will join you. Still here, are you? I was just wondering, what happens now? There's quite a lot to do. Commander Washington must determine when and where we'll strike next. And we need to get to work on our message. Message? We must contact the broadsheets at once. Ensure it's clear to everyone that it was the Loyalists who fired first in Lexington. But no one knows who fired first. Which is exactly why we must spread the news quickly. We'll determine public opinion. This seems dishonest. Perhaps. But so what? People must believe we acted in self-defense, else we've committed treason. But you have. Better to bow and scrape before a tyrant, then? Is that what you suggest? No, of course not. No one should be denied freedom. And yet, to change the truth, it seems a dangerous road to travel. Understand, Connor. This is a war fought not just on the battlefield, but within hearts and minds as well. There's nothing wrong with a bit of theater, especially if it saves lives. <laughs>